Hello guys, in this video I will talk about the Southern European, Celtic and Germanic admixture in French people. Those are the components that make up the French DNA and those are the components that participated in the ethnogenesis of French people. The sources for this video are G25 and Guerrilla Mix. Guerrilla Mix is an application I developed myself that uh, basically compares populations using allele frequencies. So here are some G25 models for some French regions. Uh, French Paris is closest to, I just used English, Basque and Italian uh, for the comparison. So French from Paris are closest to English, followed by Basques, followed by Italians. French from Alsace are closest to English, followed by Basques, followed by Italians. Uh, pretty much every French is closest to English, followed by Basques, followed by Italians, except for Southern French, who are closest to Basque, followed by English, followed by Italians. Uh, the Celtic and Germanic ancestry in Northern and Central French brings them closer to Northern Europeans, represented by the English people. The Paleo-European Vasconic, Vasconic, like Basque ancestry, as well as the lack of Germanic ancestry in Southern French people, brings them closer to Basques, Italians, and Spaniards. Uh, I did not include Spaniards in this model. And interesting, look at the, to the right. Uh, this is a mixed mode between various French people and uh, the source populations are Basque, English, and Italians. And uh, an interesting phenomenon can be observed by comparing the ratio of Basque to Italian in Northwest uh, versus East fin uh, French. So compare Brittany to Alsace, right? Uh, in Brittany, there is a little bit more Basque than Italian, but in Alsace, there is 10 times more Italian than Basque. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. That's an interesting uh, detail to note. Uh, G25 models for French people with Irish and Scandinavians instead of English. Uh, so English kind of is kind of already a mixed group between Celtic and Germanic. So uh, what if we split it between Irish who are Celts and like uh, Norwegian who is Germanic? So French from French Nord are closest to Irish, followed by Norwegians, followed by Basque, followed by Italians. Uh, French from the South are closest to Basque, followed by Italians, followed by Irish and Norwegians. Brittany, closest to Irish Norwegians than Basques and Italians. I think most French would be closer to Norwegians than to Irish than Norwegians than Basques and Italians. That would be the pattern for uh, most French people, actually, even Alsace and Paris. So French from the south can be modeled as 78% Basque, plus 16% Tuscany, Italian, plus 5% Norwegian. So not very Northern, very Southern European. Uh, profile. French from Brittany can be modeled as 52.8% Irish, 24% Norwegian, and 13% Basque, and then 9.6% uh, Italian. So mostly a Northern European profile with just a little bit like one-fifth or one-quarter of um, Southern European blood. French from Paris can be modeled as 38.6% Norwegian. I'm not going to go through all of these, but basically uh, French South seem to completely lack Irish or insular, insular Celtic admixture. Uh, the 5.4% Norwegian may be the result of historical Germanic admixture from groups such as the Visigoths. Visigoths? I don't know. I'm Russian, so don't blame me for mispronouncing things. French from Brittany are the most Northern European Celto-Germanic out of all French groups. So here are some G25 models of French people with historical groups. Uh, the historical groups I used here are Celts, um, Bel Belgae, Belgae, I don't know, uh, Germanic Vikings from Denmark, uh, Latin Rome, Early Bronze Age, and Vasconic Iberia, Iron Age. So the Vasconic Iberia would be like the, uh, the, the component that's similar to Bosques. Uh, the Latin Rome, Early Bronze Age would be the component that's similar to Italians. And Celts and Germanics would be the Northern European components. So it seems that the most Celtic French people are those from Auvergne and Occitanie. Aus I don't know. <laughs> and the most Germanic French people are from Brittany and Alsace. Uh, the most Latin French people are from Occitanie. And the most Vasconic French are from the South and Bern. Uh, I had to look up what Bern is because I, to me, I, when I was doing this little chart, I was thinking Bern is like... So somewhere in, uh, in East France, like it sounds Germanic to me, but no, it's actually like on the border with Spain. So it makes sense for Bern to be 62.8% uh, Vasconic and 34% Celtic and 3.2% Latin and no Germanic at all. So it kind of makes sense for that to be the case. Um, also, Bigor, Bigor, 
Bygor is also pretty Vasconic, 50.6% of Vasconic. Uh, French South is 48% Vasconic. So these are very Southern European um, regions in France. In fact, the Celtic admixture that they all have is also part Southern European. So it's it's more than half Southern European. Um, and here are some guerrilla mix models on French people, comparing French people with multiple European populations. Uh, this is the Euclidean distance matrix using guerrilla mix. Uh, the French, Brittany, F Finnish, Irish, Basque, those are not uh, labels that come together with my guerrilla mix uh, application. I had to write them in paint so that it would be more easy to understand what it is representing. Uh, in, on, in, on the original app, it just shows target, target minus S1, target minus S2. Uh, but that doesn't really tell you much about what the target and S1 is. So I had to write the population names in MS Paint on top of the screenshot. Uh, to illustrate what this is really showing. Uh, comparing French to various world populations, interesting how French are close to pretty much every European population. So look at French. They're close to every European population. Even Finnish people, uh, like it's green, but it's not It's not like light green. It's still a, kind of a reddish green, brownish green. So French people are close to every European population, although they're the most distant from Finnish. Uh, compared to Finns, who are pretty much an outlier European population, French from Brittany are close to every European ethnicity. And in fact, French from Brittany seem about as close to Russians from Tver as the Finns are. So look at the Russians from Tver. This is the this column. Uh, so you see the Basque are the most distant population from Russians from Tver. But look at Finnish and then look at French Brittany. They seem equally, almost equidistant from Russian Tver, which is very interesting. People often say that Russians are like Finnish people. Russians are just basically crypto Finns. But that's not the case at all. Uh, because if Russians are crypto Finns, then Russians are also crypto French. Uh, so, in fact, French from Brittany seem about as close to Russians from Tver as the Finns are, at least with guerrilla mix. G25 tells a slightly different story, and I think it doesn't account for the high levels of drift in the Finnish population. Since guerrilla mix deals directly with allele frequencies, it is more sensitive to drift. Modeling French from Brittany as a mix of other populations with guerrilla mix. Uh, Guerrilla Mix models French from Brittany in a more northern way than G25. Perhaps this is due to a disparity between the G25 French Brittany and the K36 French Brittany samples. So Guerrilla Mix French Brittany is closest to Irish, followed by Norwegian, followed by Russian from Tver, followed by Basque, and lastly followed by Finnish. And it can be modeled as a mixture of 92.8% Irish plus 7% Basque. Here are Guerrilla Mix comparisons of French. Uh, various French regions. And you can see that the various French regions, Brittany, Northeast, Rhone, Alps, South, are very close to one another. They're, they're all very close to each other. They're also sort of close to Dutch, but less so. Uh, you see the Dutch the Dutch colors are more like um, brownish, and especially Dutch versus South, uh, South French. You see at the intersections of South French and Dutch, like S3 minus S4, it's kind of a brownish color instead of a pure, pure red, like all the French regions to one another. And in fact, uh, South French to Brittany is a little bit of a brownish red too. I just noticed that. So there is a little bit of a distance between Brittany and South French too. Uh, but however, all that aside, uh, South French are closer to French from Brittany Fr and Dutch than to Basques, which is very interesting. Uh, once again, this does contradict G25. Uh, or it may not contradict G25. I don't know what the French South reference population in Eurogenes K36 is. So it may not contradict G25, actually, but um, yeah. This is the guerrilla mix comparisons of French region. You can see French people are pretty much most similar to one another. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video and share. I like that, unlike when that happens. Uh, thank you. Have a good day.